My name is Cecilia Smith Christensen, and I'm a member of ECOMOS ICTC and ECOMOS Norway. As expert advisor to the UNESCO World Heritage Sustainable Tourism Program, I have the pleasure introducing you to VMAST, the Visitor Management Assessment and Strategy Tool. Increasingly frequent and devastating effects of climate change and disruptions, such as the recent global pandemic, have exposed the vulnerability of tourism dependent communities. To cope with uncertainty and enhance communities' adaptive capacity, we need contemporary, integral, proactive, and responsive management tools fit to address complex challenges under local circumstances. DMAS is the newest addition to the UNESCO World Heritage Sustainable Tourism uh, Program and Toolkit. It's a free resource for all World Heritage sites and available to everyone else against a small hosting fee. The tool was developed with input from the advisory bodies and other key stakeholders and is hosted and supported by Segeba in collaboration with World Heritage Catalysis. Developed as a self-assessment and strategy development tool, VMAS helps site management authorities improve visitor management for heritage protection while localizing the UN Sustainable Development Goals. Unlike many other <clears throat> instruments, VMAS is not primarily a reporting tool or focusing on a minimum set of requirements. Instead, it recognized the many efforts that can be considered as part of site, visitor, and destination management, defining best practice as an ongoing commitment and effort to improve and adapt when necessary. BMAS is structured across four goals, 40 strategic objectives, and over 200 target indicators. While goal A focus on visitor management for the protection of heritage values, goal B to D focus on what it can do to strengthen the pillars of sustainability through visitor management. With limited time, I will focus on the goal most relevant to the topic of today. Goal B, contribution to environmental sustainability, climate change mitigation and adaptation. As for all the goals, goal B is set out through 10 relevant strategic objectives. These objectives may not usually be considered part of visitor management, but nonetheless essential to destination management and community resilience. BMAS has a uniform and intuitive design. Of specific relevance to cultural landscape, I will exemplify its application through objective B1, which aims to uh, for sensitive environments to be protected from negative impacts of human activities and visitation. Throughout the tool, target indicators are set out across basic management activities, including monitoring, budgeted activities, communication, capacity development, and collaboration. In filling in VMAS, you have the option to respond yes, partly, no, or not applicable. For each objective, you can access relevant resources and get an overview of the relevant SDGs. At any stage of your assessment, you can open the appraisal tab to see your overall score and score specific to the goals, objectives, and management activities. VMAS allows the identification of a management baseline and monitoring over time. The appraisal helps you analyze what you are doing well and where you have opportunities to improve. Upon a prioritization of the relevant management objectives, you can use VMAS to develop a smart strategy. Strategic components can be elaborated by clicking specify. <clears throat> the components can either be used to develop a new strategy or updating existing plans. They can be brought forward uh, through the management organization or, other stake, or through other stakeholders in the collaborate, uh, collaborative stewardship of a site. VMS can be applied at all sites attracting visitors and could potentially also strengthen nomination and evaluation processes. VMAS has been piloted across several World Heritage sites and most recently in a project organized by UNESCO Bangkok and the designated areas for the Sustainable Tourism Administration Thailand, DUSTA, introducing VMAS across 16 World Heritage sites in nine Asian countries. 
The project demonstrated and confirmed the usefulness of DMAS across sites irrespective of existing capacities, but also as a tool for enabling knowledge exchange and support across VMAS users and sites. Supporting UNESCO and VMAS users, the project also initiated the emerging community of practice set out through World Heritage Catalysis, which aims to apply new and innovative tools and technologies in transformative visitor management for heritage protection and community resilience. Through the community platform, it is possible for VMAS users, alongside other interested stakeholders, to engage in collaborative knowledge exchange and problem solving across all VMAS strategic objectives. It provides access to relevant resources, including onboarding support, uh, collaborative VMAS circle, VMAS canvas, and for those specifically interested, the opportunity to elaborate the theory of change applying VMAS in transformative visitor management. In hope this basic uh, introduction has triggered an interest in VMAST, the last slide provides relevant links, including how to access VMAST and join the emerging community of practice. Thank you very much uh, for the attention.